Uh, now to an eyewitness news exclusive with the victim of a frightening kidnapping in Newark. Police say it started on Adam Street, where the victim was grabbed and forced into a car. Her captors taking her to a bank on Ferry Street and only letting her go after she withdrew $9,000 out of her account. The victim, now speaking exclusively to eyewitness news reporter Darla Miles, and she joins us live from Newark with the latest. Darla. Dave, this was quite an ordeal for this 49-year-old mother of three. She said she'd never seen these two men ever before. And I have to tell you, this is just a straight confidence game. They first allowed her to get her cart down because they asked her for help. So she was disarmed at that point. But then they said they had a lottery ticket that they needed help cashing. They even told her not to tell anyone because they were afraid they were going to be robbed. And then they flipped the script and robbed her. This is exclusive surveillance video of a 49 year old businesswoman being duped, later kidnapped, and then robbed by these two men, now wanted by Newark police. She's too terrified to show her face on camera. She says they have no boundaries. They're taking any victim on the street. Please do not fall for it. In this clip, you can see a Toyota minivan pull over on the 100 block of Adams Street in Ironbound. One of the suspects is seen getting out of the car and walking down the sidewalk. The opposite angle shows the victim walking into a check cashing store. She's then approached after she walks out. He said, help me collect this lottery ticket. Please help me look for an attorney or notary. She says, I walked with them and they put me in the car into a van. From there, I then left and they told me I had to get the money from the bank. I told them I didn't have any. And then they emptied my wallet and they threatened me. Threatening to kill her and her children, they took her to this Santander bank on Ferry Street where she withdrew the cash and then they dropped her off at a nearby CVS where she begged for help. Now, this was just not a short ordeal. The victim tells me they drove her around for at least an hour, maybe more, threatening to kill her family, threatening to kill her, emptying out the contents of her purse until they figured out where she did her banking. And the victim believes she was also drugged because when they put that lottery ticket in her face to show her that they were a winner, she says that's when she became disoriented. Again, this victim is extremely traumatized, but she's asking for the public's help in identifying these two suspects because she will not be able to rest easy until they are caught. And again, she's out all of that money.